Hi, Leo. It's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How you doing? How you doing? I'm just going to jump straight into your reading, okay? So I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them. Um, it'll mostly be me mumbling around as I clarify, sewing together a story, and then I will read it. I'm sorry, I'll leave a timestamp and then I'll go back to the top and I'll read it fluidly all the way through. So if you don't like the channeling and the shuffling and the laying out of the cards, by all means, please jump to the timestamp that you should find somewhere right around here. <laughs> Maybe over here. I don't know where I'll put it yet, but there will be a timestamp where you can um, go ahead and uh, fast forward through all of the chit chat and the shuffling and the channeling, okay? All right, Leo. So let's see what it is that Spirit has to say for you. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Leo with me, and Leo wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Leo, and what does Leo need to know about their life? What's coming towards Leo? What does Leo need to look forward to? What does Leo need to look out for? And what is the very best way for Leo to navigate the situation for their highest good? Spirit, as always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret, but to explain. Spirit, Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Leo the messages that they need to know. I'm going to shuffle three more times. I'll cut three times, and I will begin to pull off the top. If you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the messages to Leo that Leo needs to know. All right, Leo, let's cut and see what's up. One, two, three, two, three. Now, I don't have the camera in camera like I usually have because I'm still trying to figure out this whole new living situation, okay? It'll be back. I just don't have it today, so you're just going to have to trust me, okay? All right. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, some kind of truth. First card out, King of Cups in reverse, emotional volatility. The Six of Wands in reverse, fall from grace, a state of disrepute. Eight of Wands in reverse, delays, frustration, and inability to communicate. The Prince of Wands, taking some kind of inspired action. The Queen of Swords in reverse, maybe somebody that's angry with you. The Ten of Wands in reverse, this is um, an overwhelming burden. To the Nine of Wands, persistence, resilience, fight mode, right? The Prince of Swords in reverse, in the center of your reading, speaking to a disregard for consequences irresponsible actions um, no action right the alchemist in reverse this is untapped talents potential the inability to manifest poor planning manipulation we'll see when we clarify right the hermit in reverse isolation loneliness withdrawal death the high priestess in your feels the Five of Cups in reverse, moving on. The Five of Pentacles, leaving it out in the cold. To the Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia. The Hierophant, your commitment. The Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficiency, independence, culminations. The Two of Wands, your future. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, lack of success obstacles to the long-term goals the moon really thinking about something two of cups in reverse um imbalance broken relationship three of wands preparing having some foresight the ten of pentacles family home nostalgia money the ten of swords in reverse this is either an inevitable ending or hoping to recover something the king of wands Success, this would be you, to the King of Swords, making a decision. Six of Pentacles in reverse, to not give and receive. Prince of Pentacles, slow, possibly the future. The Fool, new beginning, new journey. The World in reverse, some healing. Prince of Cups in reverse, 
withdrawing of emotions, five of wands in reverse, either avoiding responsibility or an increased focus on goals to the tower, the emperor, the three of cups, the four of swords in reverse, the two of swords. See, it's, it's repeating that the queen of pentacles in reverse, seven of wands, a challenge, judgment, a decision, temperance, princess of swords, queen of wands in reverse, the devil in reverse, the four of cups in reverse to the wheel of fortune, strength. Okay. It just keeps repeating. So we're just going to stop with what we got and let's clarify these. I think I'm going to use the standard size Rider wave deck to do this. All right. So emotional volatility, a lack of success, a lack of movement, action, communication, wanting to take some inspired action um, to the Queen of Swords in reverse. So what's all this about? Um, so the emotional volatility with the King of Cups in reverse, that makes sense, right? Because there's a lack of sex. A, 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 maybe there's a lack of sex, <laughs> but there is a lack of success, okay? Um, tell me about the Eight of Wands in reverse. Why the frustration? Why the lack of movement? What is this about? What is the Eight of Wands in reverse about? What is this about? What is this about? The Nine of Swords. Lots of anxiety. Lots of despair. You can't seem to change something. Um, you don't, it's, it's almost like you don't know what to do. Yeah, look, the Sun in reverse. This is unhappy. A lack of optimism unhappy and a lack of optimism the hierophant in reverse you're worried about your commitment the king of pentacles in reverse you're worried about you're worried about your title in this relationship to the high priestess um, pulling on your inner reserves possibly taking a knee with your higher power right really searching your subconscious mind and your intuition look at that the four of cups just flew out contemplating and reevaluating Okay. Wanting to take some inspired action, right? Wanting to break free. Got it. The queen of swords in reverse. Who is this mad person right here? Who is this mad person? Who is this mad person? We've got so many cards right there. Let's try that again. Who is this mad person right here with the queen of swords? The knight of swords in reverse. Hmm. I think this, yeah, this Queen of Swords in Reverse has said some real damaging things to you in this particular situation. And now you're contemplating your feelings. Okay. Ten of Wands in Reverse to the Nine of Wands. Okay, so we're, uh, the Six of Swords manifesting, but sh the other person is just salty. Okay. Okay, so the Prince of Swords in reverse, in the center of your reading, to the Alchemist in reverse, and the Hierophant. Okay, okay, D to the Judgment in reverse, right on, and the Page of Wands, gotcha. The Alchemist in reverse, because of the potential, gotcha. The Hermit, the Hermit, to the Ten of Wands, the Emperor in reverse, and the Ace of Wands got you. Death. This is what you're thinking about. Yep, to the Page of Pentacles. Look at that. Mm-hmm. An ending, a change, a transformation. Tell me about death. Giving up. Right on. Got it. Okay. The High Priestess again. Okay. Five of Cups in reverse. Moving on. Five of Pentacles. The Six of Cups, though, right? This is your family we're talking about right here. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse on top of it says possible spiritual poverty. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Your commitment. The Nine of Pentacles to the Two of Wands. So looking into your future. Seven of, okay, got it. Got it, got it. Okay, I think I can read these without clarifying because um, they kind of like tell their own story. All right, Leo, what the fuck is up? What is up? You got a situation you can't quite get control of right here. What is this about, man? Wow, a lot of despair. I feel uh, frustrated. 
Okay. So the King of Cups in reverse. This talks about your emotional volatility. Oh, timestamp. We're 10 minutes in, right? So we're doing a timestamp. This is where your reading starts. So Leo, let's take it from the top and read all the way through. Okay. So the King of Cups in reverse, emotional volatility, because of the Six of Wands in reverse, because of a fall from grace, a state of disrepute, a lack of success, something is fucked up in your life, right? A relationship is fucked up in your life and it has you sad. It does. It has you sad, right? The Eight of Wands in reverse. You don't know what to do. This is delays, frustrations, a, an inability to change something. And you're, and you're frustrated because you can't seem to change whatever's happening right here. You can't seem to change it. The Nine of Swords, right? Lots of anxiety, lots of despair. To the sun in reverse, not happy, not very optimistic that, that, that you can save your commitment. This all has to do with a serious, significant commitment in your life, right? And you're beginning to think differently about this commitment based on your inability to change the situation. The King of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is this this would be you, and I know it's not fire energy, all right? But the King of Pentacles is the husband. The husband, the um, committed significant other, right? And what this is saying in the reverse is that you're thinking about dumping this title. You're thinking about dumping this title and you're thinking about dumping this commitment to the high priestess. So much so that you're in your, you're in your feels, in your intuition, in your subconscious mind, possibly taking a knee with your higher power, really, really doing some soul searching on um, this commitment, where it stands and where you stand. To the Four of Cups, right? Contemplating and reevaluating the whole situation. You would like to take some inspired action. You'd like to take some inspired action to the Seven of Swords in reverse to break free from this whole situation. But, but it seems like the more inspired action you take, the deeper hole you dig yourself. Interesting. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody is super pissed off. Somebody is insatiable. You cannot make this person happy. And because this is about some kind of commitment, this is the person on the other side of the Hierophant, right? This is the person on the other side of the commitment, the person you're committed to. You can't seem to make this person happy. No matter what you do, this person is always pissed off. Hence, the Knight of Swords in reverse. Like I just said, no matter what you do, you can't seem to make it right. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta itch my ear. <laughs> Whatever you do, you can't seem to make it right, right? This is um, this person calling you irresponsible. This is this person calling you um, um, lazy, okay? This is, this is the, this Knight of Swords in Reverse represents the words that are exchanged between you and the person who is constantly angry at you. And you're in the moon energy, right? Really, really, again, the moon, we have the moon and the high priestess could be dealing with the Pisces, don't have to be, it don't fucking matter, right? It, it does not matter. But you're in the moon energy and you're really soul searching and you are struggling struggling with your emotions to the queen of cups because you do have love for this person you have love for this person you have love for the situation because i know it's a family situation with the six of cups down here you have love for this situation but it seems like no matter what you do you just can't win okay The Ten of Wands in reverse. This is overwhelming burden. This is a burden that you'd like to shake loose, right? You want to fix the situation. You would like to shake this burden loose and just get back to the way things used to be between you. Six of Swords. Um, it seems that maybe your only alternative is to leave. Um, it seems that you're thinking that perhaps your only alternative is to leave the situation. 
but you don't want to with the magician, right? You don't want to. You want to work on this relationship. You want to manifest in this situation. You want to communicate and you want to make things right. Queen of Wands in reverse. But it, again, it seems like no matter what you do, you cannot make this person happy. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. Your needs aren't being met in the situation. And no matter what you do, you can't seem to meet the other person's needs in this situation. It's like a lose, 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 lose. To the Nine of Wands, you're tired of fighting, right? You're tired of fighting. This card is also about resilience and persistence. You are hanging in there and you're holding on as tight as you can, but you're tired of fighting. You're tired of not being able to please whoever is on the other side of this commitment. And you're frustrated. Prince of Swords in reverse again. This is also representative of the fighting that goes on between the two of you, right? The griping and the fighting that happens between the two of you. This is a card also about you not taking this action. See, this guy, he's on his way out. He's out. He's gone. He's out. Sayonara. See ya. Hasta mañana. He's gone, right? He's gone. This direction, he's not taking the action that he wants to take. Why? judgment in reverse ignoring the call to leave the situation you're trying to hang in there you truly are ignoring the call to leave the situation to the page of wands to to explore and discover something different right why why are you not moving on well the alchemist in reverse the alchemist in reverse says that you see potential untapped talents you see potential in this relationship you love this person you do and you're holding on because you're hoping that things can be fixed isolation loneliness and withdrawal with the hermit in reverse this is your state of being right now see in the upright this is soul searching and introspection in the reverse it's isolation loneliness and withdrawal this is not being able to you don't know what to do leo you just don't know what to do so you pull inside and you shut down and that's what this card is about Pulling inside and shutting down because you don't know what to do. Ten of Wands. Just enduring the burden. Just enduring the burden. The Emperor in reverse. This is control, right? This is somebody that's overly controlling. This is you trying to control the situation. Trying to keep your family together. Trying to maintain your position in the family or the relationship this is control okay you trying to control the situation and i think how you're trying to control the situation is just enduring the burden and shutting down and that's probably not a good way to go but who am i to say right the ace of wands in reverse a lack of motivation a lack of motivation frustration and a lack of motivation and that's a dangerous place to be right there leo it really is a dangerous place to be shutting down going inside enduring the burden with a lack of motivation to fix anything because you feel exasperated because you can't you keep trying but everything you do turns into a big fight so you're shutting down oh leo You see death as an impending um, option for this situation. An ending. An ending. You do. You, you see that as pretty much your only option here. An ending. To the page of pentacles. To manifest um, happiness someplace else in your life. To the nine of wands in reverse this is um giving up it's giving up it's just absolutely totally and completely giving up and you feel like this is your only option there you are in the high priestess again 
to the Five of Cups in reverse, um, really, 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 really thinking about leaving this whole situation hard. Thinking about leaving this whole situation hard. Five of Pentacles, leaving it out in the cold. You feel left out in the cold. The whole thing is just a gigantic shit show. But it's your family, man. It's people who mean the world to you. People who mean the absolute world to you. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Twofold. You leaving this situation will put you in a state of spiritual poverty. You will ache in your heart if death comes to this situation. And it's actually not twofold. That is, that is straight up what it is. You will ache in your soul if you leave this Six of Cups situation. But you feel like you have no choice. The Hierophant, your commitment to the Nine of Pentacles, thinking about being single again, thinking about bringing this commitment to a culmination, to the Two of Wands, looking into your future, to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, looking into your future and not wanting this to be your life. The moon, your feelings, your repressed emotions, your subconscious mind, your intuition, trying to feel your way through this situation. Two of cups in reverse, because this is a broken relationship. It's imbalanced and it's a broken relationship. To the three of wands, having some foresight about the future, right? The Ten of Pentacles, family, home, wealth, establishment, security. To the Ten of Swords in reverse, hoping that you guys can recover this. You don't want to leave, but you feel like it's your only choice. Because nothing that you do can bring peace to the situation. And you're hoping to recover this, but you're also afraid of an absolute inevitable ending between the two of you. King of Wands. There you are, Leo. Wanting success, right? Wanting achievement. Wanting to, wanting everything to be okay in the situation. The King of Swords. This is you as well. Making a decision. An absolute decision. Executing a decision. To the Six of Pentacles in reverse to the Prince of Pentacles, that you don't want to carry the current situation into your future. We said that a while back, right? You don't want to carry this situation into your future. You don't want to live this life. It's excruciating and it's painful and you don't want to live like this. You hope that it can change, but if it doesn't, you're going to leave. The Fool. Brand new beginning, brand new journey. To the world in reverse, self-closure. This is also about shortcuts, right? The shortcut being, if it can't get worked out, I have to go in another direction. To the Prince of Cups in reverse, because it's unrealistic. We are not sharing feelings. As a matter of fact, all of this is maybe causing me to lose feelings for you a little bit. To the Five of Wands in reverse, an increased focus on goals. This is you giving it the old college try right here. You're not ready to give up on this yet. You're not. You're not ready to give up on this yet. An increased focus on goals. You are going to continue to work at this until you have absolutely no other choice. Um, yeah, until you have absolutely no other choice. To the tower, right? This is upheaval and chaos. Um, this is, um, I'm going to clarify this. Hold on. It's upheaval, chaos that results in an awakening. King of Wands in reverse. Okay. Ooh, we might be getting somewhere, Leo. Hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. Five of Swords in reverse. Let's see. Open to change. The Star in reverse. Despair, lack of faith. The Wheel in reverse. Hold on. Tell me more. Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about this, please. Please tell me more about this. Please tell me more. All right. All right. Hold on, Leo. Let me work this out. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Ooh, Leo. Tell me one more. One more, please. All right. All right. All right, let's back up. Okay. So the tower, this tower moment is something that happens in this relationship. This tower moment is utter upheaval, upheaval and chaos. Something, I, I think it's a fight. I think it's an exchange of words, but there is some kind of explosion that happens that cracks the foundation of this relationship. Okay. So there's a tower moment, the King of Wands in reverse. This is you in self-preservance, perseverance mode, right? This is you thinking of you and only you. This is a self-centered person, a self-centered card. And whatever happens in this tower moment right here takes you from wanting achievement and success and trying to make this a go to, you know what? I think I need to worry about me and only me. I think I need to worry about me and mine. That's what I think I need to worry about. Five of Swords in reverse. Lots of resentment. Anger, 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 anger. To the star in reverse. That results in a lack of faith and despair when it comes to this relationship. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is about, um, see, in the upright, it's a turning point and it's positive, right? In the, in the reverse, it's... Um, It's hopelessness that there is a, going to be a turning point in this relationship. It's realization. It's critical self-analysis also. To the Eight of Cups in reverse, and it causes you to walk away. The Six of Cups. It's unrealistic to stay where you are. To the Emperor. Taking control of your life taking control of the situation, taking control of your life and, and understanding that because of the tower moment, and that's nothing that we've talked about yet. The tower moment is new, right? Because you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, you're trying in this whole reading, you know, if you got to go, you're going to have to go, but nevertheless, you're trying and you haven't given up. Now you're giving up to the emperor, right? Taking control of your life. See, and this is what throws me right here to the three of cups. This is reuniting, celebrating, talking with other people. To the seven of cups, options, choices, and decisions. So what this tells me is that you are giving up and you're taking control of your life 
and you're like, you know what? There's other options out there. The three of cups, there's other people out there. And if I can't make this go with you, maybe somebody else will appreciate me a little bit more than you do. The world in reverse. This is critical self-analysis. This is you in the four of swords contemplating what your next move is going to be. To the three of pentacles. Your next move. What's your next move? Um, teamwork and collaboration with the Three of Cups. Man, all I can really say here is that it looks like you make a definitive decision that you're leaving this situation and now you're thinking about where it is you're going to go and who it is you're going to go to. Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, broken home, broken marriage, a misalignment of values. And then temperance comes in at the end of all of this and talks about balance, patience, purpose, moderation. Tell me more about temperance, please. Tell me more about temperance to the two of cups in reverse and the ace of cups. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see now. I see now. So this tower moment happens, right? This tower moment happens and Leo is like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck this and fuck all of it. I'm out of here. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm gone. I'm taking control of my life and screw you. I'm out, right? I have options. I have choices. I do. Three of cups. I could, I could, I, I don't have to be in this, right? But look, look at this. This is also about you making decisions, you making decisions to stay and work things out. Okay. So in the inside, you're like, you know what? Screw this. I can, I can be happy someplace else. Just screw this, all of this. It's just not worth it anymore. But you make the decision with the three of cups to stay and work it out. The world in reverse, closure, healing, right? Healing the situation to the four of swords, contemplating in a defensive posture, what your next move is going to be to create teamwork and collaboration. Oh, there's a dragonfly right there. You guys, Aww. dragonflies are spiritual, yo. Um, the three of pentacles to have teamwork and collaboration in this situation, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment would be overwhelming. The breakup of your home, the breakup of your marriage, um, the misalignment of values between you is just, it's loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. But see, even though you've lost those three cups in this card, in this particular spread, you still have hope that there's more in those two of cups that are behind him, right? Temperance. This is you deciding to wait it out, waiting it out. The broken relationship. You still have love for this person. As much as you get mad and you're like, you know what? Screw you. I can have anybody I want to. Deep down inside, you love this person and you're not willing to give up this relationship yet. Queen of swords in reverse to the King of Cups in reverse. <sighs> this is the angry person. It's causing the emotional volatility. You know what? I want to ask about this angry person. I would do an extended reading, but I really don't have a lot of Leo followers. Um, so for me to do a gigantic extended reading and then put it on um the on you know put it out there and and get like three views it's just not worth my time and effort so i am going to dig into this queen of swords real quick so anyway that was your reading leo right that was what's going on with you now i want to know what's going and, and i hope that helped you come to terms with some things um now i want to know about this king of cups i'm sorry the queen of swords in reverse what is this woman's problem and I say woman because it's a queen, right? It's whatever. It's I don't give a shit about your gender preference or if you get offended because it's man, woman, he, she, they. I, I don't give a shit, okay? I don't give a shit. All right. All right. So this queen of swords in reverse, what is the problem? The king of swords. 
um, things are not being executed to the six of wands in reverse and it's causing a lack of success nine of swords it's causing despair to the king of pentacles this queen of swords in reverse thinks that you should be doing more than what you're doing true knight of cups um feelings the exchange of feelings the talking of feelings to the three of pentacles in reverse um okay all right all right so this queen of swords in reverse she she does have feelings for you he she it it don't matter they they them it doesn't matter um they, they do have feelings for you okay um but there is a lack of respect happening here this person seems to have lost some respect for you this person seems to have lost some kind of respect for you they have feelings for you but they've lost some kind of respect for you what else to the queen of wands lost some kind of respect oh holy shit queen of wands to the three of cups in reverse Ooh, Leo, are you screwing around? Oh, Leo, maybe that's why you were over here thinking, you know what? I got options. I got choices. I can do something different here, babe. Because I have options and I have choices. Because this Queen of Swords in reverse, this person that you're dealing with right here, tells me that they've lost respect for you because... They found out a secret with the high priestess in reverse that you have a third party situation. Um, somebody that you're talking to. Maybe, maybe you don't, Leo, but this person is um, concerned. Okay, they're concerned. Whether it's in their head or it's reality, they are concerned. The star, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. The Tower, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Ten of Wands. So this is their same tower. This tower is that tower. Interesting. If it's not a third party situation, this person is saying, I deserve better than the stifled creativity that's happening here. I deserve better. And... Um, the disconnection between us i want hope faith purpose and renewal i do the tower moment um the upheaval and the chaos over here the six of pentacles i don't want it to end our relationship the two of pentacles in reverse um two of pentacles in reverse if our relationship ends there will be financial disorganization for me the queen of swords in reverse to the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, and that's a burden I cannot bear. The Lovers, I do love you. To the Ace of Cups, and I want to renew, a renewed beginning with you. Eight of Wands, I want things to change. Temperance, let's be tempered. Let's just slow the roll here for a minute. Let's be tempered about all of this huge explosion with the Tower, okay? To the Seven of Pentacles. Um... Let's reflect and assess on what it is that we've invested in and what it is that we're building to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse before we lose this relationship. Queen of Swords speaking truth to the Five of Cups in reverse about forgiveness. To the Magician, let's manifest the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point. All right. Okay. 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 So there is a lot of love here, Leo. There's a lot of love between you and this person. This person feels, um, this person feels like there could be better and there could be more. This person doesn't, this person I think is financially dependent on you. Uh, maybe the mother of your children. Okay. Um, and it doesn't mean that you are the only breadwinner. It just means that without you, things would be difficult for, for your situation here, right? Um, the, so the tower moment, the same tower moment over here where you're like, fuck this, I have options and choices, right? 
Um, and maybe that is where this comes from. Maybe that's where the Queen of Wands to the Three of Cups comes from. I mean, maybe this is just addressing um, a, an idle threat that you made, right? I don't need. I don't need to be with you. I can get this bullshit from anybody right? Some kind of flippant comment like that can send the other person off on just, just a crazy tangent in their head, right? Something, there's something this person is, this person is threatened about and they have lost a little bit of respect for you because they think that you can be doing more than you're doing. Um, yeah. Yeah. They have hope, though. They want they want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. They're saying, whoa, 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 lovers to the Ace of Cups, I love you. Let's change the situation. Let's be tempered about this, right? Let's be tempered. Let's think about everything that we've built before we lose this opportunity. I want to speak my truth, right? I want acceptance and forgiveness. I want to manifest a brand new turning point in the relationship. And that is... Um, what this person is saying to you. So that's who you're dealing with. That's their perspective of the situation. Okay. All right, Leo, that was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.